It was here, too, that Alexander learned of Philotus's plot against his life. According to Ptolemy Aristobulus, information of what was going on had come to his ears before, while he was in Egypt, but he refused to believe it. For Philotus had long been his friend, and he trusted him, and he had also bestowed the highest honours upon his father, Parmenion. Ptolemy's account of what now occurred is this. Philotus was brought before the Macedonians to stand his trial. Alexander made his accusation in no uncertain terms, and Philotus answered the charge. Then the persons who had reported the affair came forward with various irrefutable proofs of his own guilt, and that his own fellow conspirators, of which the most damning was that he admitted knowledge of a plot against Alexander, but had said nothing about it, in spite of the fact that he was in the habit of visiting, visiting Alexander twice a day. Thereupon he was shot by the Macedonians, and the others who were concerned in the conspiracy shared the same fate. Parmenion was executed as well. Polydamus, one of his companions, was sent with a letter from Alexander addressed to Cleander, Sitocles, and Menidas, three generals in Medea, who had been posted to the army of which Parmenion commanded. It was they who put him to death. The reason for Parmenion's execution may have been that Alexander could not believe that he had no share in his son's conspiracy. On the other hand, even granting his innocence, his living on after his son's execution was already in a, a fact a danger, for he was a man of immense prestige. He had, greatly, he had great influence, not only with Alexander himself, but also with the army, and not alone with the Macedonian units but also with the mercenary soldiers whom so often by Alexander's orders and with Alexander's approbation he had led on special missions or in the ordinary course of duty.